So what's up guys? We are here at a gym that I used to work out with uh, a good friend of mine. His name's Randy. We used to be training partners when we were both competing in bodybuilding. So I haven't trained with Randy in a long time. It's been years and years and years, uh, especially since I started training with bands only. And the funny thing is he's always sending me messages, making fun of me for doing band only training. So I had an idea the other day. I called him up and I said, hey, you want to do a workout with me? So what you're about to see today is a bodybuilder's reaction to training with resistance bands only for the very first time. So you want to talk about someone who's skeptical? He's the ultimate skeptic. He thinks rubber bands, or that's what he calls them, rubber bands. He thinks they're for old people or people doing rehab, not a serious training tool. So you're about to capture his real reaction here. Now he's not as big as he used to be. He used to be gigantic, but he's still about 225 ripped and shredded. This is a strong dude. I used to watch him squat six, seven plates on each side. So you're gonna get a genuine reaction here. So let's, uh, let's head in there. Let's meet up with him. So I was saying that you've been making fun of me for doing bands. Oh, of course. <laughs> I tell bitches. I say, bitches, what happened with, with I say, bitches, what happened with... Which, by the James. way, b bitches is our friend Ray. Our friend Ray. That's his name, bitches. So, yeah, that's name, bitches. So I say, he told me, you see uh, James doing uh, with the band? I say, yeah, it's a CC workout. Yeah. What the heck is that with bitches? Yeah, no, Ray was like, ah, you know, what, so what are you doing? I was like, well, come over, we'll do a workout. So then after that, oh, he, he told me, he told me, he told me, he liked it, he liked yeah. it, yeah. yeah and I told him, if James one day call me, <laughs> are we gonna try too? <laughs> I told him though, I was like, especially for jujitsu or any kind of martial arts, any kind of sport, because think about it, you look around, look how many benches there are, this whole gym, every machine, Everything is all benches. Yeah. So that means we're sitting down, we're laying down. What sport in the world do you do sitting down or laying down? None. None. So what's the point if you can bench press 500 pounds if I put you on your feet that you can't do anything with that? Yeah, you got a point, you got a point. So training this way, especially when you start having resistance on a horizontal plane, so we're about to do chest. So as we anchor behind our, us and we're doing chest movements, right. now we're having to create a strong base and a strong core. So even when you think you aren't working your abs, you're working your you abs the whole time. Okay. Yeah, yeah, so really works sense. on stability and functional functional strength, like real world strength. That's right. Yep. We're gonna start off with push-ups with the bands. They seem easy, but they're not that easy. Oh boy. My situation on my back, yeah. my neck is pretty bad. In the morning when I wake up, it's pretty bad. So when I do chest, my left hand is always numb. Yeah. My three fingers. The nerves. Nerves. Every time that I start to do it, bothers me. And when I warm it up, I have to feel better. and do three, four sets, stretch. I have to feel better. I want to try with this one now. So far, so good. Don't bother me at all. You know what's crazy? So you remember. So. When we got ready for the southern states. Correct. Remember when we would do legs? We would train legs heavy, and in between sets I would lay on the floor in pain because of my hip after that surgery and all that. Right. So started not wanting to train legs because every time I trained legs, I was, was painful. it was painful, and it took me five days to recover after that and limping around. Do I feel so good now? I have no pain. And you know I got a ton of injuries. My shoulders feel good, so it's like I look at them like, wait a second. I'm just as strong, I maintain just as much muscle, except I feel a whole lot better. We don't get hurt. Without getting hurt.
sometimes you get limited by the machine because they don't let you work in other angles. You have to adapt yourself to the machine, to which the machine. should be the opposite. Think about how we used to sit in certain machines and we, and we would like turn our body a certain way. We create yeah. different angles, yeah. Remember those, I'm still doing it in here. Yeah. A lot of those machines, I don't even use it because don't work in my angles the way that I want it. Yeah. Because remember, everybody has figured their muscles like now, different ways. For me, maybe some move will work for you, that's a word for me at the same. I have to find my way to feel the contraction like now. You told me, find your way. But by, by the way, interpretation, he has to figure out how to find his way. Wait, wait. <laughs> when we first started working out, this dude spoke zero English. I'm still don't speak English, I'm trying. We used to work out and I'd say, you want to do this? He'd say, okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I never forgot one time I went to Publix and I was looking for milk. I don't know if you remember that. Yeah. And I told the guy, I don't know how to say the guy milk, leche, in Spanish. And I look at the guy, he's, he said, I'm believe right now at that time, he said, can I help you? I look at the guy and I say, moo. <laughs> the guy look at me like, huh? Moo. <laughs> milk. <laughs> Follow me. I just saw the hand do that, so I guess I had to go with him. He showed me all the milk and said, yes. <laughs> I came in one, one time and he, he said, Poppy, he's like, this weekend, I ate five boogers. <laughs> you remember that? <laughs> like, you ate five boogers? He's like, they were delicious. They were the best boogers I ever ate. <laughs> he had tried hamburgers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I remember those days. All right, so we're going to do... Uh, I want to go one, that's right. Good, right? Oh, yeah. So now, same thing, just like we did with the pull-ups, we're gonna do them with these. We're gonna do them explosively, which... Same, same concept. Same concept, which, okay. like you said, for your striking, this is a good one. Yeah, oh yeah. Another good one, just for conditioning with your striking, just taking one of the bands around. And you, you, get, you get up to like, you, you get up to 40 seconds, 60 seconds of that, you're dying. You know what is funny we do that? Do you? With yeah. these? No, no, obviously that one is kind of, you can move better how those, do you have the handles? The handles, yeah. You know what I mean? But sometimes the metal yeah. bothers you because a lot of metal things, you don't have the Yeah, you got the carabiner yeah, and all that. Carabiner. Yeah, so. That's why I don't like those. Yeah. The tube style bands with the handles. So imagine if I were to step on that band, and it's a handle here and a handle here. And I just don't have much tension here at the bottom. And that's why most people think, oh, bands aren't that hard. Especially if I were to do a squat, right? I come down here, right? Okay. Bottom of the squat, there's just not as much tension here. So that's where you can adjust your grip with these loop style bands. And that's why I do wear the gloves. With the handle, don't let you because- There's no you flexibility. Have to open the leg way too much no stability. Exactly, so here, I can just reach further down. Take all the side. If I want to do stiff-legged deadlifts, I grab all the way down here. So, the more you stretch it, the more tension you create. Yeah, it's limiting. All right. So, these what I'll do. Like I said, want constant tension, so I don't come all the way back here. I stop short, right about there. Got it. So it's here to here. Okay. And just super explosive. Oh, yep. Okay. Got it. A skeptical person and when I see the band I'm like eh, it's not gonna work for me I really don't like it when I see it I'm be honest to you but now that I'm try and also uh, James show me the angles and the movement it's, it's really cool and change my mind about it because really 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 feel the construction and the workout was really good I don't feel any tension in my joints, which is important for me because I have a lot of injuries. And it 
was pretty cool. I like the workout. I was making fun of him before because men is for like girls, let's say that. And it's, it's really cool. I like I like was was the experience was good. It's, it's really really cool. So we just finished up our workout. We did chest. I asked him what he wanted to do, what uh, body part he was due for this week. So that's what he wanted to try. So we went through, we did some uh, push-ups, some different presses, some different fly movements. I uh, just wanted him to get a good experience of what the bands are like. Not just the quality contractions that they are an effective tool for building muscle, but also for him to experience some of the other benefits like resistance in different planes, especially a horizontal plane, which really makes you engage your core, etc. So that's why I want to make sure we did enough anchored exercises. Of course, did some push-ups in there as well, which are so much harder than people think they are. But uh, I had zero doubt that he was going to like it. It's just one of those things. It's perception. We just have a certain idea of what bands are and what, they, what they're for and what they can do. And no one's ever going around saying, hey, you can build muscle with bands. And so that's been the challenge is getting people to open up their eyes and, and to try it out and to feel it for the very first time because that's the key. There's nothing that I can say to someone that's gonna convince them more than them just doing it for the first time and feeling that contraction and being like, wow, okay, that feels great. That's been the game changer for every, everyone. Every time I've worked out with anyone, that's been the one thing that just completely changes their mind when they just feel that super strong peak contraction and that burn in the muscle and the light bulb goes off and they're like, okay, this is cool. So Randy got to experience that today. He got to experience what that feels like and that's why it changed his mind. It's nothing that I had to say about it. It's just jumping in there and doing it, but doing it the right way and he said that in there. That's the important part is using the right technique because if you go in there and you do it the wrong way it's going to feel awkward and you're going to say ah you know this really isn't for me but uh, it'll be interesting to hear his feedback in a day or two after some of the soreness sets in because he's going to feel it in his core you know and he's a strong guy and he does a ton of jujitsu like i was saying you know he's doing that twice a day so he already has a really strong core it's not just jujitsu he's doing muay thai and you know stand up so the guy is super super conditioned he is an athlete, uh, he's not your typical bodybuilder. This is someone, he's fast, he's flexible, but he's still gonna feel it because this is different than anything that he's ever done before. So, interested to hear his feedback, but it was a great workout, beautiful day out, so it's time to go get the rest of the day on. So, I'll see you guys soon.